Minnesota woman allegedly beheaded in broad daylight by her boyfriend. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AG's Point of View, where I give you my analysis on the most popular topics in the world today. We got a story here coming from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Um, I'm sorry, not Minneapolis, Shakopee, Minnesota. As in the words of the infamous DJ Khaled, another one, crazy. A 55 year old woman was allegedly beheaded in broad daylight by her abusive boyfriend near Minneapolis on Wednesday. A de decapitated body of America Mafalda Thayer was discovered lying on the ground next to a car by cops who responded to a stabbing in Shakopee, Minnesota. Officers recovered a large knife in an alley nearby. Thayer's boyfriend, 42-year-old Alexis Saborit, was taken into custody and charged with second-degree murder. Second degree? Wow. Thayer worked at the Dollar Tree and My Pillow, where a co-worker says she was in a long-term relationship with the suspect and was allegedly abused by him, the network reported. Sabor had previously been convicted of gross misdemeanor, domestic assault. Friends remember Thayer, a Cuban immigrant, as hardworking, kind, and warm. Nikki Kendricks knew the victim for five years and said she used to visit her every day at work. She was soft-spoken, so funny, and always had amazing stories. She always went out of her way to say hi to me when she saw me. She was just the kindest to everyone. I have met, I haven't met Excuse me, anyone as genuine as, as America was since my late grandma. I had no idea it was her at first, and then a mutual friend messaged me, and it all clicked, she told the outlet. I'm devastated. It's unreal, and I just have no words. Neither do I. My pillow co-worker and friend, Jamie Worley, said they had worked 70 hours a week. Nice. I went there today and went to the store and got her a rose and a teddy bear and put on her desk. When I got there, I didn't even look at any other of my coworkers. I just stood at her desk with my head down. Everyone was just crying. It was a very emotional day and it still is, Morley reported. A visit was planned Thursday night at the scene of the execution. Whoa. This is a deep one, folks. This is a deep one. All right. I'm going to try to unpack this one because I, I can't. And once you see the picture of this guy, you'll be like, okay. Yeah, he look a little twisted, you know. And what did she see in him? I do not know. So that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. Um, man. You know, this lady works 70 hours a day. First of all, her name was America. You know, why would they name her America? I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know. But at any rate, regardless of what her name is, you know, she um she worked seventy hours a day. Obviously she needed the money. She was doing what she needed to do. Um and she she was it says she was being abused, you know, by her boyfriend. And I just don't understand why women just stay in abusive relationships when like if someone is hitting me in the head, someone's smacking me and punching me, I'm leaving. It's not like you're hurting for money because you got 70 hours of work. So now you can leave. Now I understand men can kind of like threaten you and say, hey, listen, you better not leave or I'm going to kill you. Well, if you stay, he's going to kill you too. So either or, you, you might as well make the smart decision. You know, if you leave, you possibly can get some help, you know, from someone that uh, they could possibly go out and just, you know, that may know somebody that may know somebody or you can report it to the police you know and they keep an eye on you you know what I mean get protective custody um you know you can relocate you know you don't understand Minneapolis Minnesota I understand you didn't have the money but you're working 70 hours a week so if you're working 70 hours a week I mean 
you know, you're only required to work 40. So if you're working 40, over 30, it's overtime. Unless it's from a different job and you're working regular time. And even with that, that's still extra money. So, I mean, you know, like I said, I don't know how much she was getting paid an hour or whatever, but I just wish that she would have just, you know, picked up and just left. I mean, you know, she's 55, I guess, once you get to that age, you know, you may feel like, you know, this is your last chance at love and you can't get no one. I know the older we get, you know, the more, I guess, the desperate we may end up getting. But you got to understand, you know, people find love 65, 70, you know what I mean, 75. So it's just like you don't have to stay with that person, you know what I mean? You don't have to stay. And then for him to be as crazy as he was, you know, he just looked like he just wanted to just do some damage, you know what I mean? So, you know, it's just... It's a sad story, you know, I mean, the bad part about it is he did it in broad daylight, broad daylight, like somebody could be walking by and he just chopping her up, like he chopping some lettuce up, like really, is that what we doing in 2021, I don't know what's in the water up in Minneapolis, but um, you know, I don't want no parts of it, you know, I know the Minnesota, uh, these are the Minnesota, uh, Vikings, this day team colors, but um, I'm definitely not from Minnesota, and you know I'm, you know it's, it's crazy enough down here in Philly, so you know it's it's something else. But uh, you know when you see somebody as hard working as she was, and you know doing what she needed to do, you know you you meet those kind of people, and it's just like I don't know if she had anybody left in her family that she could you know, reach out to talk, you know, some people like that may, like I said, she was an immigrant, you know, she, she may not have had family members that was over here, you know, they might have went back to, you know, her native country, you know, um, I mean, it's just a sad, sad story, and it's just like, you know, it's just, you know, you see pictures of her, she's smiling, happy, you know, vibrant, she don't look 55, for sure, um, you know, she's in good shape, look like. But for somebody to just chop her up, like, you chopped her up, like, bro, you had to really be on the cuckoo juice that day. I don't know what you were sipping on or what, but, whew, wow. Um, and let this be a, a message to just women in general, you know. When you're meeting these men, you know, when you're going out and you're meeting a gentleman, you know, do your due diligence. You ain't always got to get up, give it up right away, you know. Just because he's saying, well, listen, we've been dating for like two weeks, you know, a month. You know, what's up, you know. When, when can I, you know, get that? And it's just like, nah, that ain't the way to go. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, if he's rushing you to do stuff, you know, most men, most good men that I know, you know, they ain't all about that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we we every every man wants it, but you know, it's kinda like I ain't I ain't gonna sit there and put the pressure on you. You know what I mean? When you get comfortable, when you feel good enough, you wanna make a move, you make a move. So ladies don't feel neg don't feel like, you know, you're not worthy, you're not uh a special woman, you know, to that guy, you know, because guess what? If he's looking to do that, I'm not even gonna say nine times out of ten. If he rushing you to do something, 10 times out of 10, that relationship going to last you every bit of a month, maybe two at the most, if you're trying to go in sec seconds. But, you know, you make a man wait, and if he's going to wait and he wants to wait, then, you know, there's obviously something there, you know what I mean? And he really likes you and he really wants to be with you. So, um, you know, I just pray that, you know, more women will just heed that warning and just, you know, move forward and just, live their life the way they want to live it, but be extra careful when you're bringing in these men, you know, because it's like every guy that you meet is not going to be your Prince Charming. I'm just going to tell you that right now. You know, you may have to go through 20 guys to get that one guy that's just special. And hopefully, you know, you don't run out of energy and time and patience by the time you meet the 20th one. That could be your Prince Charming. So, you know, just... Just keep your head up. Everything will work itself out. You know, don't get discouraged on yourself. Don't get down on yourself. You're looking good. Keep working out. You know, keep making yourself. Just get dressed every day as if you're married, as if you're with somebody, that special person, you know. You know, go out and prepare as if he's home, as if he's there, you know. 
I mean, once you start doing that, then, uh, you know, you'll start seeing your life change, you know, and everything will work itself out. And then the people that's supposed to be there will show up and the ones that ain't supposed to be there won't be there. So, you know, man, that's a crazy, crazy story. At any rate, that's my time. Um, you know, if you like what you heard from, you know, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below. Right down there on that little red button. It's probably going to be over here with the like button too, okay? Hit that like, you know. That helps the channel move forward. That helps me see my engagement, you know, with my audience, you know. I'm here for you guys, you know. Hopefully, you can leave a comment down below and let me know how you felt about the story. Um, you know, and what type of stories are you looking forward to? If you see a story, you want me to bring it to you, you know. Hey, I'm here for you. So, just let me know. Um, like I said, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you a whole lot, you know. Um, without you, there's no me. So, you know, thank you for coming out. Thank you for watching this video. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, yeah. Hit that notification bell, too. I drop videos like this every single day. So, you know, if you want to stay in the loop, which I think you should, click that, click that bell icon. And uh, you'll see it the moment that I drop the video. All right? Thanks again, y'all. I love y'all. Peace.